Ever wonder how AI can supercharge your invention research? Well, stick around to discover how the free version of ChatGPT can save you time and boost your results with practical tips that you can apply right away. Hi, Lisa Lloyd here. If you find these tips helpful, please subscribe, like, and hit that bell to stay updated. Your support helps me create more valuable content for inventors. And check out the links below for additional inventor resources. Now, if you're new to ChatGPT, think of it as a powerful AI assistant that generates text based on your prompts. It is a free tool that you can start using today at chatgpt.com. While it is an excellent way of generating ideas and gathering insights, just keep in mind that the data will be approximately a year old and sometimes can be inaccurate. So you should verify critical information from additional reliable sources. So let's take a peek at some great ways to use this amazing tool with some prompt examples specifically for you. And keep in mind that this is an iterative process, so plan on refining your prompts as you go. The more specific you are, the better the results you'll get. Now, imagine that you have a new idea, such as a maybe a portable solar charger we'll use today as an example. And we'll hop over here into Ch chat GPT and do some exercises. Okay, so let's begin by assessing the demand and how you can use GPT to maybe evaluate whether or not there's a big enough demand for your idea. So let's start by saying, is there a demand for portable solar chargers? Yes, there is a growing demand for portable solar chargers. Wonderful, driven by several factors. It gives you some factors here. The demand is particularly strong among eco-conscious consumers, outdoor enthusiasts, and those in regions with unreliable electric supply. Okay, so now you can decide whether to proceed with your idea or make some adjustments based on any of this information here. And this step can save you from a lot of costly mistakes. So this is a fantastic way to get some early stage validation, I guess, specifically on whether or not to move forward with your ideas. Okay, so assuming you feel confident that you're onto something, then let's dig in a little bit more and let's validate the market size and maybe even growth trends while we're at it to see if it's still worth pursuing. So for this, I'm gonna prompt by saying something like, what is the current market size for portable solar chargers? And how has it grown? over the last five years. And there you go. It searched for sites and it's letting us know that the global market for these types of solar uh, chargers is 228 million and by 2023 had grown about to about 361 million. Wow, big market, lots of opportunity here. It even says the rapid growth underscores the expanding role of portable solar charges. Fantastic. So now I know I'm really on to something. This really gives you a terrific starting point to better understand the potential opportunity. Then you can narrow down or expand your prompts to get even more specific answers. Like, let's try uh, what percentage of that is specifically for outdoor uh, garden, sorry, solar chargers. Let's assume that mine is specifically for outdoor, so I started broad and now I'm going to narrow down even more. Fantastic, so it's a big segment. It's approximately 45% of them. Obviously it's outdoors, so solar makes sense, but People might need it in a storm or whatever. So it is important to know specifically where your product will land best, who your exact ideal audience or customer is, so that you can drill down on all of your research. Knowing who you're up against can give you a significant advantage. I'll use a simple prompt like, what are some existing products similar 
to portable chargers. Wow, this gives us a competing list of product examples. Then you could go down all kinds of bunny trails here, like asking it to provide insights into what makes these uh, potentially the ideal partner for you or any other kind of insights you might be looking for. You could even ask GPT to tell you what maybe makes some of these products successful and where they might fall short as part of your R&D process. Okay, so let's do one more early stage research type prompt and then look at how to use this for finding companies to license to. So let's say you want to understand your potential customers' pain points. Obviously, you had that in mind when you came up with the idea originally, but let's validate it here to help you refine your invention to better meet their needs, not just your own. So you could ask GPT something like, what are the biggest challenges people face with portable chargers. I know historically I have advised people go look at Amazon or other types of websites where they have ratings and reviews to see what people like and don't like. This is another fantastic way to find out what's missing in the market. So people face several challenges with portable solar chargers, chargers which can impact their effectiveness and user experience. So dependency on sunlight, slow charging speeds. Okay, maybe I wanna make sure that mine has a great speed, um, uh, recharges at great speeds. Limited power output, size and portability trade-offs, fabulous stimulus for what to be thinking about next. As you can see, this could be invaluable at helping you develop a wow solution. Okay. So now let's play with how to find out who to call on for licensing. This won't be exhaustive, but it is a great way to kind of get things rolling. So let's try a prompt like, um, who are the leading yeah, competitors um, in the portable, we can just say the leading competitors because it will remember what we were talking about. So here we go. Isn't that fantastic? I didn't even have to re-explain solar chargers again. So here's the leading competitors. I'm gonna slow it down. The arrow here tells you that it's still going, but I'm gonna stop it so we can just take a look at these. We've got Goal Zero, Anchor, Big Blue, fantastic. These companies leave the market due to their innovation quality and ability to meet the needs of their diverse consumer segments. Their products range from budget-friendly options to high-end solutions for outdoor use. Wow. And you can keep drilling down on each of these companies for even more information. So for example, uh, now you can prompt it with something like how much annual revenue do each of those companies do annually? Wow. Incredible. Now you may not get all of the answers, but it's a great start and so much faster and easier than going after each one of these companies one at a time on Google. And there you have it. With ChatGPT, you have a great free tool at your fingertips. I encourage you to experiment with the different prompts and see what insights you can uncover. The more you explore, the more you'll discover. Being an inventor can be tough and confusing at times. Well, I'm here to help. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you and answer to the best of my ability. Or if you'd like some one-on-one -on -one advice, then feel free to book a free call with me. And if you're curious about my Ninja Inventor training, then check out the links below to learn more. Let's tackle this journey together and turn your ideas into a reality.